Healthy Kidney Inc. And today we're talking about high protein diets and why you really want to avoid them if you have chronic kidney disease. Thanks for watching. Robert Galero, it's naturopath, nutritionist, kidney survivor on my 19th year of a kidney transplant. Check out our videos, hundreds of videos that'll help yourself. All right, so this piece of research comes from caring for patients with advanced chronic kidney disease, dietary options, conservative care instead of maintenance dialysis. I'm going to talk in another video about what diet they recommend here being a low protein diet to avoid dialysis as one of the things. What they do to talk about here is how you really should avoid high protein diets. Now this isn't new. We've known this for many years and that's why they stopped doing high protein diet studies in kidney disease because you don't want to do studies that just keep ruining people's kidneys. So I'm going to go to a section here. High protein diets have gained in popularity in recent years for people seeking weight loss and to ameliorate type 2 diabetes in general. High protein intake can be defined as greater than 1.5 grams per kilograms ideal body weight or about 25% of your daily energy intake. What that comes out to is about about 100 grams for about a 170 pound person. If you're more, you're gonna be like, you know, 115, 120 grams. But for the sake of argument, anybody with chronic kidney disease should not be consuming above 75 grams of protein per day. What happens if you eat a high protein diet with kidney disease? However, high protein diets can cause intraglomerular hypertension, potentially leading to renal hyperfiltration, glomerular injury, and proteinuria, and in time may adversely affect kidney health in populations with or at risk for CKD. I'm only talking about CKD, okay? We're talking about chronic kidney disease disease. If you have chronic kidney disease, don't do a high protein diet. Now, a lot of people out there, they talk about high protein diets, you can do it. And if you want to try it, you can always do a test. You could go on a high protein diet if you don't believe me or want to try it. And then 30 days later, recheck your blood work and you can see the difference. Now, in the most cases, you're going to see worsening of creatinine, GFR. You're going to see your bun, your blood urea, nitrogen, your toxic uh, toxin count. You're going to see that go up. You can see the CO2 go down. Now, in rare cases, some people do improve. So what's going on there? Now, if you have diabetes and you need to lose weight, okay, by eating a higher protein diet, you could stabilize your blood sugar. And if you lose a significant amount of weight, 10, 15, 20 pounds, you're going to improve your kidneys simply for the fact that your kidney doesn't have to work as hard. It's got less body weight to keep body and homeostasis in balance. So it doesn't have to work as hard. So when you see people say, I had a high protein diet to improve my kidney function, almost always it's because they lost weight or they got better control of their diabetes. But even if you lower the protein, you'll see a better outcome overall. So avoid high protein diets with kidney disease. I'm going to say about 70 to 75 grams of protein per day is the max. And most likely you should be on a lower protein diet. So that's what we're talking about. Okay, avoid it. Don't do it. It's not good for you. Thanks for watching everybody into your best kidney health.